we just hold tight We're up at the moonlight Believe in the magic On sight We'll make it feel just right Just look at that bright light Believe in the magic And we can save you from your past This bond is always gonna Guys, welcome to The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. I hope you enjoyed my little opening that I have used, made and put together using the uh, trailers. And today we are here in Glimmer Brick. As you can see, uh, yeah, the family that was living in there yeeted out of existence already. I use that word a lot now, I've noticed. The Blackwood family are now living in there and we have one of the little Blackwoods living here. This is Sagittarius Blackwood. He is a spellcaster with the ancient bloodline who is uh, oh crap I didn't change his aspiration oh well I'll do that later and he is a genius paranoid bookworm and for now we are gonna go into uh, creating households for women because we have two little googie eggs that we need to meet that we have not met yet and I've been really excited to use these guys because these guys aren't gonna be uh, spellcasters when they jump straight in but they are gonna have the spellcasting aspiration so the first one we have we have Melanie Dagwood as you can see very chilling adventures of Sabrina vibe I gave her because she is basically Sabrina if you look at her face and she is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous okay nature purveyor of potions she is gonna be our resident alchemist she wants to open up a potion shop which I thought would be a fun little idea to have so I'm also gonna give her a secondary outfit because I want to test out some of these new witchy outfits that we've got and I think she could really nope not custom content she could really suit them. I also, I have a whole bunch of outfits on uh, um, my secondary sim, but I might have to uh, change up one of them for him. So we got this one. We got this one. Very, very cute. I'm thinking, actually, maybe we use one of the outfits, or we make an outfit using the new pack. So let's get rid of her shoes and her tights and this very quickly and we'll put her in this I kind of like this oh it's a bodysuit oh that's so cool oh I like that already that's actually really cool and it's leather which is it's a little bit you know out there but that's actually really cool it's gonna be really that's that's really cool this is only gonna be like a short I say short it's gonna be a roughly 20 minutes uh, video Ooh, very nice very nice what about the skirt okay the skirts actually quite good the Shorts. I kind of like that. You know what? Okay, let's put her in these. I kind of like this look. Like, it, it does look a little bit out there, but I think it actually looks quite good. And we got two new pairs of boots. I like these already. Let's put her in these boots. She looks kind of badass already. I love that. I love that. Okay, thank you, Melanie. You are going to be in our resident... Uh, she is our resident female for the uh, show. And the second one is my absolute gorgeous love of my life. Look at this beautiful boy that I made right here. His name is Emrys Sharp and I have a whole plot line all sorted out for him involving a certain blonde haired sage, shall we say. Currently, yeah, it says he wants to be a chief of mischief. No, 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 no. You want to be spellcraft and sorcery. You want to learn all about the magical arts. As you can see, he is mean. He's very romantic, but he's also incredibly self-absorbed. And I absolutely love him. Seriously, look at that face. He's also I also gave him heterochromia. He's kind of got like a bluish green left eye and then this pure white white right eye which is kind of like where all his magic kind of got stored in it as you can see he's already got a bunch of outfits he's got that one uh the sammy b killer witch outfit i love it you know it's just gonna be one this one it's open shut but there's a plot reason for that but i might have to switch that one out he's got this one which i might change and this one actually let's change out this one because this one like is cute but it's not very uh it's not what we're going for. Okay, let's just get you out of those clothes. As you can see, he's absolutely gorgeous. Also, golden back tattoo. I thought that was pretty cool. Also, if you're noticing the shading difference, I've got reshade on. And I wanted to try it out, and it's actually pretty decent. And it makes my game actually look really nice, so I thought I'd keep it in. So we've got these new tops. 
can see. I like that one. That's quite nice. Oh, wow, that's way too much. Maybe not. That one. Lots of holes in. A lot of t shirt A lot of clothes are getting holes in there, I've noticed. Nice, very earthy. It's quite cute as well. That one as well. We've got the hood. Very uh, cultish, I guess. And we did also have a bunch of new outfits. Oh, man. So many unlocks as well, for some reason. We have... Oh yeah, this is what Morgan from the trailer is wearing. Uh, that specifically. Also, that little clasp, very Deathly Hallows when I first saw it. I uh, we got this one, very... Uh, again, also Earth, down to Earth, very nice. Uh, that's kind of interesting. That also very down to Earth and kind of interesting, but no, we're not going to do the full one outfits. I'm thinking, okay, let's do this one. Actually, even better. We'll have a sort of similar... One to his outfit number four, with uh, he's got the f with lots of holes in the vests, and we'll give him some new trousers. Quite interesting. Maybe not those. I don't know why they're so saggy in the crotch. I just think maybe people. I don't know how that's a trend. It's weird, and I don't like it. And he's got ripped up, nice ripped up jeans, and we got the new shoes because there were these new uh, boots that came with the pack. Did I put Strangeville? Yeah, not Strangeville. Realm of Magic. We've got these ones as well, maybe in a black, very uh, apocalypse looking at them. But also these cute little boots right here. Like, these are actually very cute. I kind of like them. I'm going to let him put those on. And also, I think we got some new... Uh, did we get... We didn't get any men's stuff, did we? Or did we? No, I don't think we got any men's accessories, which is... Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, I'm imagining. Oh, no, we did. Oh, we got this. This nice, cool band in black. Oh, yeah, and we got gloves, I think. Yeah, gloves. We don't need the gloves, though. Okay. So we got interesting... Oh, no, it actually... I wonder why his eye went with yeah that clashes. Okay, we can't put that in you if you're gonna if your eye's gonna go all freaking out on me. So it looks like uh your wrists are going bare for now. But as you can see, he is uber gorgeous. He is uber gorgeous and I love him so much. Seriously look at him. He is like Oh just look at him actually. I'm gonna switch out his star necklace for this one. And there should be a key. There should be a key one that we recently got from the pack. There's been like a there's like a whole new bunch of stuff that I really love. I've been in here for almost ten minutes now I need to Oh can I not open up can I not use the necklace? Is the accessor are the accessories really only for Oh, do you only get the earrings? Is really the key only for women? Actually. <gasps> no I can. Haha. Haha, -ha, okay that makes you kinda look like you're about to you know Oh, this one. Yes, this one. Okay, so men can wear these. I'm thinking you're going to want to have... Ooh. The blue is quite nice, but I love the red because it goes, it goes well with the hair. I think that might be the one. The key as well, I also quite like. But I think, yeah, we're going to go for this one. Like he's, he's got like a focus crystal. Almost. Okay, I love him. Alright, you. Uber, uber, uber cute. Uber cute. He's like a I mean, this is very... I don't know why, this gives me Mormon vibes, but he just pulls it off so well that I kind of had to... I kind of had to... Also, yeah, we can now make occult sims now. So, yeah, that's a cool thing. Okay, so we have Melanie Dagwood, our resident potions expert, who's going to be, you know, in the series. She does have a plotline, and I've made a whole other bunch of sims that are in the background, and I've got some sims that I asked people to make for me that I, I'm going to be putting in the background in the next episode, because there's a whole load of things i got to do first. So we have Melanie, and we have Emrys, and we also have Sagittarius, so let's go and save these two. And is it going to do the thing? Yes, it's going to do the thing, because I use those custom gallery poses. Alright. Let's go plop these guys down where Sagittarius is living in this house. We're going to move him in. We're going to move them in and then we're going to go and head on over to the magic realm. As you can see, uh, I, m I already made um, Sagittarius a spellcaster because I made his family first and then I just cheated all the relevant info in because the cheats are now available, thank the lord. 
It's the only way I can get my... Uh, it's the only way I can make my Witch's Council. Which is a very interesting fact that you guys need to know. Okay, so I want to just introduce you quickly to uh, Sagittarius beforehand. So Sagittarius, if you look at him currently, very beautiful pink eyes, I've noticed. His father is Eremund Blackwood who apparently says he's a stay-at-home dad, which he isn't. He is the head of the Witches' Council. Because I didn't do his odd jobs thing, I'm going to need to do that after this. Okay, so he is basically... He's also a paranoid android. His father is the patriarch of the Witches' Council. He has a little sister called Prunella, who, like him, is a genius, but she's also, you know, very into the witchy things. And he has his mother, Annabelle, who is a stay-at-home mother, because she's just a novice spellcaster. She doesn't really use her magic very much. But as you can see, I have him using the ancient bloodline. At least one of the Sims' parents had a strong or ancient bloodline trait. Sims with the ancient bloodline trait gain an additional talent point each spellcaster rank to spend towards perks. They also gain spellcaster experience faster and reduce the chance of overloading by 50%. So because his father is from a long line of ancient... Uh, spellcasters. Sagittarius is a beautiful, beautiful ancient bloodline spellcaster from the infamous Blackwood family. Blackwood, of course, being related to Chili and Veg of Sabrina, but that's because I accidentally used that name. Okay, this is the house. Wow, it's depressing. It's very, very depressing, but we're not going to be spending much time in this house. We got places to go. We got places to go. Okay, Emrys, you're the leader. You guys aren't spellcasters yet, but you are gonna actions form group you guys are gonna do this because you guys have got somewhere to be you guys can chat do not go and watch tv melanie you have things to do we have places to go we have a very handsome spell casting sage man by the name of morgan to find all right everybody go and see this your prowess in the magical arts is gaining recognition uh Oh yeah, that's because I uh, had to do all that and apparently they all uh, had the things. Also, um, uh, Sagittarius already has his Glimmer Stone. He could trans tra travel to the Magic Realm by himself, but because he knows these two want to go and... He can sense there's magic within them. Like, they don't have magic currently, but he's just like, you guys have magic in you. Look, we all, we all grew up together. We kind of all went to school at the same time. Let's go and check out... Uh, the magic school that my father is sending me to. I should mention, despite the fact that Sagittarius does say he's friends with his dad, he's not exactly got the best relationship with him because his father is head of the Witches' Council and magic and the Blackwood name is all, you know, the most important things. Where are you? Okay, she's lagging behind. Come on, Melanie, keep up. Keep up. As you can see, oh yeah, it's winter in-game. It's the first day of winter and I have turned aging on. And because they do this thing, yeah, apparently he's got 92 days, he's got 95, and she has 89. It randomizes the days, I think, spent, depending on how long you live in Cass, or how long you spend in Cass, which I think is total rubbish. Also, mushrooms. It's a toadstool haven. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my god, this is so awesome. I love it so much. Okay, you guys are here. Sagittarius is like, well, here's the magic portal. It's so weird. Shall we get going? I mean, I think Amaris being the lead is very eager to uh, go, but then Sagittarius, being a little bit <laughs> paranoid at the moment, and she kind of, you kind of frightened her a bit, she's like, oh no. And in Amaris goes. Without entering the portal, the swirling vortex appears to lead to a realm beyond our own reality. Do you dare enter the threshold? Hell yeah, we're entering the threshold! Give me that magical goodness. I've been waiting for this for so long. I have been making the supercuts of the trailers. I've been making backstories and plotting. I have a screenshot story plan that I plan to share with the Peach Squad. What's up, Peach Squad? For those of you who are watching, comment down below if you are part of the Clash of On Discord. And also, I have Morgan himself as my background. Don't ask me why. Rarely has a sim ever captivated me as much as he did. I mean, sure, I love Makoa and Caleb and Tasty Island Man Manor, but I know, I looked at Morgan and I was just like, oh my god, my heart, be still my beating heart. Here they all are. We are here at the Magic Realm. I am going to be making this place over, because, like, it's nice to look at. 
it's nice to look at. Like, sure, it looks cute. I mean, okay, with my... Holy... Uh, excuse my language, but holy crap. With my, uh... With my reshade, this game looks absolutely gorgeous! Absolutely gorgeous! Okay, there are bathrooms around. Okay, so we got a sage here. We got Simeon, who looks nothing like the sage in the trailer. Seriously, look at you! You look like Hugo if... You look like Hugo Villarreal's real dad. <laughs> then we have this woman. Elphaba. Like, I love her Wizard of Oz reference, but also looking nothing like the woman in the trailer. The only person who looks like themselves in the trailer is Morgan, and I don't even know where he is. Where are you? You're down in the basement? Oh yeah! My instincts were right. Who else down in the basement? He is looking so gorgeous. Looking pretty angry, though. Or irritated. It's almost like he can sense there's mortals here, and he's just like, I sense mortals. They better want to learn magic and stuff, otherwise somebody is going to get frozen. Because he is the untamed one. Sage of the untamed arts, as he said in the trailer. Because that is a trend now, I've noticed. It's a weird trend. I can't stop staring at him. Also, it that is my skin detail like default replacement on him. Which is probably why his face looks so much smoother now than I realized. But then, still absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's just take in this beautiful sim. You know, sometimes the devs are just on point with some of the sims they create. Other times they make the other two sages. Who, sorry devs, they just look awful. I mean, sure, she can be cute in the right, like... She'll look cute in time once I give her the proper makeover. But what the hell did you do to this guy? This guy is not... Whatever this magic branch is. Mischief, I think. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not. Okay. Let's go and start uh, choosing Sages Teach from Emrys. You want to learn all three uh, schools of magic. You are going to go to Morgan first. We are going to have you just be nice and friendly. Be nice to him. Please don't insult him. You're a mean sim, so that worries me a lot. Sage, you're already a spellcaster. That's fine for you. All you can do is just go and chat with this dude and be like, Yo! My father sent me here, you know him? He's the head of the Witches' Council and the Clan Glimmer. That, by the way, that's canon, what I'm calling this entire region of witches. They're known as the Glimmer Clan. And Melanie, you also need to go to talk to Morgan, because Morgan, uh, Morgan is proficient in potion making as well. And you want to be an alchemist and run your own potion shop like your father used to. Man, I should have just called her Sabrina. It would have been easier. Been so much easier, but... Uh, I'm gonna let Sagittarius go off and do his own thing. He's paranoid, so he might need to just go into a basement and calm down for a bit. But I'm gonna follow Emrys and Melanie very closely. Emrys a lot more, because he's a mean sim, and if he insults Morgan, then I'm in trouble. Okay, he said hello to him. Oh, he's so cute when he smiles. He's just like, oh, hi there, you must be, uh, you're immortal, what are you doing here? Exactly. Oh, it's her from the trailer. Morgan Emma, ask how to use magic. Just ask him, just be like, how does magic work exactly? Everyone says I'm magic, one of my eyes is silver. And then Melanie's just like, hi there, my dad's an alchemist, I want to learn how to make potions and stuff. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Okay. Uh, learning the magical arts is a wonderful and perilous journey. Are you sure you are prepared to become a spellcaster? I was born ready. Oh, Morgan, the plans I have for you. Don't worry, when I'm going to put... You're going to look so much cuter in CC. I'm not going to... Okay, Claire, I love you. I think you're a great simmer and I love some of the sims you make. But my god, you ruined Ember with... You ruined Morgan with your CC. It just looked way too much on him. He also looks kind of washed out, but I think that just might be my, uh... I think that is my reset, reset, reshade. <laughs> Can't talk today. Okay, he's in a focus mood. We need to get those... We need to get those moats. Melanie, ask him about magic as well. Because once you get your moats, then you can start learning how to craft potions. Yep, I was born ready. I did miss the, uh... So we'll just watch on her. Uh, we'll just watch on Melanie very quickly. She's like, 
Wow. It's amazing. In order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I need seven magical motes. Okay. Let's go. Quickly before the spell wears off. How much time do I have? Eight. Oh, eight hours. That's plenty. That's plenty, Morgan. It's like... <laughs> do you know how much free time these sims are? Actually, eight hours sounds like a lot of time in reality, but in in sim world, it's like ten, fifteen minutes. No, ten minutes at best. Because freaking time. All right. Collect motes three, four, five, six, and s oh no, his cue's full. Okay, you just go off. Okay, stop, stop chatting with, stop chatting with Morgan. I know he's cute, but come on, focus, focus, Emrys, focus, Emrys. Okay, Melanie, let's go moat collecting as well. We're gonna be doing all the shopping and stuff in the next episode. I think. I'm also, don't worry, I'm gonna CC Morgan up and the other two sages. I mean, Morgan I'm not gonna have too much trouble with. He's already, like, looking alright. Especially the hair. Like, it's Max's CC, or it's Max's match hair, but it does look super cute and I probably spent, like, a good, probably five minutes, like, accumulated just staring at him. Come on, devs. You can do so many good things when you make cute sims. It's like how everybody loves, uh, Salim and stuff. Miko? Miko Ojo, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in San Machino? Since when did you become a spellcaster? She could apparently fly. <laughs> she could apparently fly. Sage, where are you? You're just off. Yeah, you're just chatting with these two, so... Oh yeah, she's on the Witch's Council. I made sure I added her on the Witch's Council. There isn't actually enough space, so I needed to, uh... I put Alphabot on there, and when there's enough points in the group, I'll make sure to add Morgan and Simeon. I also have to edit the relationship between Eremon and Morgan, because uh, Eremon does not like him at all. How many most do you have currently? You have four, five, six, and seven. Okay, Melanie, you got... <gasps> There's a froggy thing over there. Okay, where are the rest of these moats? Because he's got his seven. You've got three. Okay, there's a fourth. Don't go playing on your phone. I'm surprised you get cell reception here. Three, that's four, five. Uh, there should be two more to collect. There should be two more. Have we run out of moats already? Oh no. Uh, six. There it is. Where's that one lead? That leads to the gardens. Oh, she's going to be spending a lot of time in the gardens. I have a whole plot line planned out for her. Sagittarius, not so much. And is that the last one? Yeah, so. Oh no, that's the one that he's collecting. Okay, then. There's a moat missing. I'm missing. I'm missing a moat. Give me the moaties. Oh dear. Oh dear, I can see she's managed to find six, he's found seven. Okay. Just be like, hey, Morgan, uh, don't yell at him. Or imply his mother is a llama. Give him the moats. How do I give him the moats? Turn in your moats. Turn your moats. You're dazed. You're oh yeah, not using mental skills. Which was that from? I don't have Slice of Life installed. Hmm. Might be an after effect of Slice of Life or meaningful mod. Are you okay? You see, oh, you're just lingeringly tense. From becoming to oh no, that's Robuckies, of course. It's that one. Oh, that's uh, Minerva. That's Minerva. Say hi to uh, Morgan because you haven't met him yet. Okay, you are ready, Emrys? Your world is about to just be changed so much. That was pretty awesome. Emrys is now a spellcaster. Woo! He is now a spellcaster. He needs to learn practical magic, mischief magic, and untamed magic. Because... You know, you were... Yeah, you're an untamed sage. I was just like... 
So he's got to go and speak with all the sages to learn all the things. He's got to learn all the things. The first thing I want you to do is do not ask uh, ask, to progress, ask to teach untamed magic. Just see if you can get at least one spell out of him currently. Just be like, hey, uh, so where do I start? Can you give me one spell to start off with, please? I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's get to know each other first, then I'll decide if you are worthy. Oh, Emrys. Oh, Emrys, you have a lot to... You have a lot to learn. Although, judging by that look on his face, he's just like, oh, I'm gonna get to know you, alright. These guys are all, uh, doing a bunch of things. Why don't you actually start? You do need to go into the... You do need to go to the magical place. Uh, Melanie, I haven't been focusing on you either. You've got six hours. You've been collecting most. You have five currently. Oh no, they've popped up again. They do come back. Okay. Once you're done and you've got your moats, we'll go back to Morgan and you can get yours. And then you can basically just go straight on to learning potions and stuff. Where are the rest of my witches council though? They should hopefully start turning up because they are, um, I have made it that this lot is a uh, hangout spot for the club, so they should start, like, turning up stuff. Also, I need to actually do over this place because, like, it's nice looking, but we need studies for the actual sages. Like, Morgan needs a study, Simeon needs, uh, like, a study, Elphaba needs her own study. And he's just come out over here. He's just sort of staring at the cauldron. Just like, hmm, okay, you got your moats, okay. Sorry to interrupt your reading, but Melanie is gonna be like, hey, can I, uh, can I get my magic, please? Oh, you're overheating. Oh god, it is actually quite warm, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna MC command them into some better outfits, because if they are warming up, then that's probably not a good thing. You're just paranoid. You're just paranoid and obviously not having a good time, so why don't you just start studying and just search for a tome to read an Emrys. Where have you gone off to? You are going off to chat with someone. Are you going to chat with Grace? Oh, you are. You're just being like, hi there. Okay. And Elni. She's just like, oh, He's gone. Where's he gone? How am I supposed to learn potions if I have to climb all these stairs just to say hello to someone? Also, it's very empty up here. It just feels so barren and bare. Definitely need to change this up. Maybe this can be Morgan's study. She's like, found all these. What are you going to do with them? I'm going to eat them. Because you can eat the moats. You can eat the moats. Alright. Uh, there we go. Turn in the moats. And she is now a spellcaster. Yay! Yay, she is now a spellcaster. She's just like, thanks! Where's the nearest cauldron? And speaking of which, the nearest cauldron is right over here. So just go experimenting for now. And just mess about. And it's now almost been half now. So I'm going to finish this episode here because... Uh, I did want this to be nice and short and I didn't want to do too much editing of this. I just wanted to focus so much on, uh, just basically focus a lot on getting the characters into the game, getting them into the spell casting role, and then also, uh, doing a lot of these, uh, introductions, getting the spell casting things, and also just setting everything up. Okay, he's walked off again. And Melanie has discovered a new potion recipe and has bottled up a sample. Oh, she's already found a potion of good fortune. And Sagittarius has found the Tome of Scrubbery. Oh, honey, you need to go to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, there are bathrooms around, but they're all kind of hidden. So just head down there. And where's Emrys gone? Okay, you're down here reading. Ah, oh, look at you reading. Reading Cooking with Moats. 
interesting. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here on a. Gonna leave it here on Emrys reading a book because clearly he is trying to impress Morgan already. Uh, without my doing so, kudos to you, Emrys. And I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Realm of Magic. I hope you are gonna enjoy this series. I know I'm going to magic. I never played with any of the magic things before in any of the Sims games. So this is like a whole new adventure for me in terms of Sims gameplay. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye now. We're doing it